Hey guys, my name is Ashley. I'm a vet tech. I'm taking my Vitney in December and I'm making videos just to help me remember because <sighs> girl, I need help to remember this stuff. So um, today I wasn't actually planning on doing this video, but I decided that I need to learn these surgical instruments ASAP. So I'm going to be going through the surgical instruments um, the general surgical instruments that they use for surgery. Anyway, so, um, as I said in, uh, some of my other videos, my husband's a vet, um, he's, he's studying to be a veterinarian, and right now he's in seventh semester, so they're doing a lot of surgery, and he has a surgery, I don't know what it is, it's like a surgery, it's not packed, but it has a, a lot of surgical instruments in here, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the ones that he has in here, and also the ones that we need to know, but I'll just put pictures if he doesn't have it in here, so it's going to be like a little scavenger hunt, because I actually haven't really gone through this yet, so let's just get into it, okay? First is the Olsen Hager needle holder, and... <laughs> He doesn't have that in here. I don't know why. Maybe they already provide it at the school or whatever. I don't know what the case is, but um, it's not in here. It holds a needle, and that's what you're going to um, use to suture up. If I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can use it too. That's I've seen technicians use it for... NG tubes, so they when they suture the NG tube, I, I know you can staple it too, but some people suture it to the nose. I have hair on my, on my face. Next are the Buckus towel clamps. Y'all already know my pronunciation for this kind of stuff, so bear with me. And if I'm saying it wrong, correct me, okay? We gotta learn. So the Buckus towel clamps, he has these in here. Can you hear this? Anyway. So the Bacchus towel clamps, these are used to clamp your towels. They, they should be super sharp. I hope you can see this and I hope it's like, I'm a beauty guru with my surgical instruments. But, um, let me see if I have towels. Okay, so these are the, towel, the surgical towels. The accordion fold, you all already know. And um, they're gonna drape these over the patient and then clamp these onto them okay let me put them back because I'm not trying to get in trouble later when he comes home and he's like what the heck happened to all my stuff Alice tissue forceps so the Alice tissue forceps let's go ahead and look in our handy dandy notebook <gasps> I found them I found them guys these have sharp grasping teeth I hope you guys can see that but um the sharp grasping teeth They're used for grasping dense tissue, holding slippery tissue that will be excised, and used in declaw procedures to hold the nail. Um, don't come at me. I'm just telling you what they're used for. Rat tooth forceps. Okay. Go. Ooh, I think I found it. I found them. Rat tooth forceps. So they look like little rat teeth. Kiki. Ki, ki. It provides good tissue grip with minimal tissue damage. Okay guys, I can't find the brown AdSense forceps, so I'll just put a picture up for you. But these have fine teeth at the tips. They're used for grasping more delicate tissue. Next is the spay hook. He's not going to have this in here because um, that's more specialized and everybody kind of knows what that looks like. Oh, <gasps> look at me lying to you guys. He has it in here. Ah, making me look silly. Spay hook. Okay. This is used to find the uterine horn um, during an OVH procedure. Metzen bomb scissors. Let's look. Let's look. Let's look. So, okay, guys, can't find the Mets and Bomb scissors, so here you go. These are used to cut delicate tissue, and they're also used for blunt dissection. 
Now we have the Rochester Carmelts. <laughs> and these have, as you can see, the grooves going down the line. They're a little thick and then they're also curved. These are used for clamping blood vessels and tissue. Okay guys, the next one is the Mosquito Hemostat. These can be curved or straight, so just be aware of that. These are the Carmelts and this is the Mosquito Hemostats. I think they can come smaller than this. I feel like this is even still kind of big. These are used for clamping small blood vessels. Next are the Kelly Forceps. So these are clamping. Um, this is a clamping tool also. But as you can see, the, these grooves are um, perpendicular. These are used to clamp off blood vessels or vascular tissue. Scalpel blade holder. So the scalpel blade holder holds the scalpel. Next, we have bandage scissors. Um, actually, we don't have anything in here because this is like a, a pack of like more surgical stuff. You've seen bandage scissors. I'll put a, a picture. These are used to um, like cut tape, remove catheters, things like that. More common. This is something that we'll actually use a lot. Next are the iris scissors. And these are them. They're super thin, super light. They're used for decollet. Decolate, <laughs> delicate dissection. So next are the mayo scissors, but he doesn't have these in here, so I'll just put up a picture. They're used for cutting thick tissues and also for blunt dissection on larger tissues. Bell for retractor. This is definitely not in this pack. The bell for retractors are self-retaining, used to hold open an incision site in the body wall during a laparotomy. Then we have the Sen Rake Retractor, a handheld retractor used to retract soft tissues. A Gelpie Retractor, this is also self-retaining, most often used in orthopedic and neurosurgery. Last but not least, we have the Hartman Alligator Forceps, and these are used for removing ear foreign bodies so that's it I was hoping that he would have like almost all of the instruments that we were gonna need to use but um, the ones that he didn't have bandage scissors that's not really a surgical instrument the gelpie and things like that those are used for like I said more neuro and orthopedic so that's not something that he's doing unless he specializes so I didn't really expect those to be in there but Hopefully that was a good little review. I liked it. I'm gonna listen to this a few times just so I can memorize it. I'm more receptive to listening to somebody rather than just like reading and then looking at a picture because I can I can probably read like a paragraph and not know anything that's on it. So this is really helping me out. I hope it's helping you out. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.